Hi everyone, it's Carla. I'm back to show you a little crocheted outfit that I made for <clears throat> Jasmine at one and a half. And it took me a couple of evenings just uh, while I was watching TV to be crocheting it. And I didn't have a pattern that I followed. I just had a little newborn size crocheted jumper. And it was done in fine baby yarn. And I just uh, got a bigger crochet hook and worsted weight um, skeins of yarn. And this yarn was all thrifted, so I had enough to make her this dress. I had earlier made this little afghan for another doll, but um, the colors match her, so I thought I would set her outside and just show you. And then I made, I combed through her hair today and uh, put a little conditioner because her hair felt a little dry. And then I, uh, it was the leave-in conditioner, kids kind. And then I had crocheted just little uh, strings and put it all through her hair. So she has little color ties in all of her hair. And um, she's wearing a long sleeve onesie because like I said, she has the one quarter arms. And when she wears something sleeveless, it lo just looks better, I think, to have her in long sleeves. And then she's got a sweet little dolly. but. Yeah, I just kind of um, winged it on this little jumper. Um, just did increases on every row. I did two increases on every row. And then when I got to a certain point, I did uh, an increase. And then um, single crochet 10, increase single crochet 10. And then I'd do that for about six or seven rows. And then I would increase it again. And pretty soon I got to the length I wanted. And then I had made a uh, casing row of double crochet, and then I crocheted a, uh, a ribbon to go through it. So that's the colors. I ran out of green, so I didn't have any green to put in her hair. But this basically, I think I paid $1.99 for the yarn, and uh, I've made a blanket and a dress out of it and the hair ties. So, um, yeah, I just had the fun of making it. And she turned out very pretty. Of course, she's a beautiful little doll to start with. And this is a little toddler size jumper. And so we just wanted to show you on a pretty day outside um, how bright the colors were and how good they looked on her. I'll move the baby so you can see how her dress is. And I just had to cinch it up a little bit. And the way the dress flared out at the bottom when I cinched it up, it just kind of made little gathers near her um, uh, you know waistband or the empire waist that she has on this but she, yeah she's just very sweet and she's gonna pet her little dolly there and I just wanted to show everyone I hope you like and and I wanted to suggest if anybody's out and about and they find a uh, thread um, yarn at their local thrift uh, store to give it a try I love making little baby blankets and hats and baby bottle covers and um, I've only made a couple of little clothing items and I made a Christmas dress last year and for her and um, she'll wear it probably sometime during the holiday season I'll try to take a picture of it I took a picture of just the dress but not her in it and then I've made this summery kind of dress so I will leave you looking at this sweet little baby and I hope you like and uh, yeah just pull out your knitting or crochet needles and have at it. You don't really have to follow a pattern. Just do what seems to work for you. Have your doll nearby so you can hold it up and make sure that, you know, like the, the straps up here are going to be the right length and the length of the dress will be what you want it to be. And it turned out really well. And I wish you luck in your attempts too because it's a lot of fun to uh, make things for these babies and then to dress them and see them in it. Okay, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you're having a great day, and we will talk to you later. Bye.